Olá! Meu nome é Nicole e eu faço parte do desafio dos 100 dias. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the 100 days challenge. For those who don't know, the 100 days challenge is a global tag created by Indie Intellect and it basically gathers 100 YouTubers from all around the world and they talk about the places they live in. So each YouTuber has a day and mine is day 61 and I'm gonna talk about Curitiba in Brazil. So let's get started with the questions. Question number one. Where are you from and where are you now? I'm born, raised and currently living in Curitiba, in Brazil. And now I'm gonna show you a few clips I made from my city so you can have an idea of where I live. What is the weather like today? Well, today is very sunny with a few clouds, but it's middle of winter in here. It was supposed to be cold, but we're in the middle of a heat wave. I don't know what's happening. It looks like summer when you go outside. This city is completely crazy and bipolar because there's a joke here that says we can have all the seasons in just one day because it's very crazy. So if you come here, be prepared to take an umbrella and sunglasses every time you leave the house because you never know. What is your favorite local dish? Brazil has a lot of local food. My favorites include paçoca, brigadeiro and cheese bread, but they're not specific from my region. Curitiba has a lot of Italian restaurants. I mean, there's a whole neighborhood only with Italian restaurants. It's, it's beautiful and it feels like heaven. But one local, local thing that I really enjoyed is called pinhão. Pinhão is basically a type of pine nut and it comes from this tree called araucaria. So what you do is cook this pine nut in a pan with water and salt and then you peel it off and eat while it's still hot. And we only get that in winter too, so it's kind of like a seasonal thing. And the reason why I decided to talk about that is because the araucaria is a symbol from my state. And the word Curitiba comes from this Tupi language. And it kind of roughly translates to land of a lot of pine nuts. So That's kind of a local thing. Name three things people do for fun in your area. They go to malls, because there's a lot here, parks, because there's also a lot here, and bars and nightclubs at night. It's basically the main things to do around here. What are families like where you live? Uh, literally every type of families. Brazil was colonized by a lot of different cultures, like a lot of countries from Europe and Africa and Japan and also the Indians that already lived here. So we have like all this mixture of culture that created a very diverse uh, people. Also because it's a very huge country, so there is literally every kind of family here. Mythbuster, name a common misconception about your country or state and explain what it's really like. Well, a mythbuster is that everybody here knows how to samba. I mean, I don't know anyone that can actually do that, from my group of friends, 
So that's kind of a myth buster. People come here expecting to like everybody knows how to dance, but it's not like that. Maybe in other states there are a lot of people that can do that, but I don't really know anyone. And it might be kind of a regional thing because during Carnival Week, that is like the main Samba week from the country, while everybody's watching the parades on the TV, uh, my city has the zombie walk. So yeah, that might be it too. What is something no one knows about your country state? Something no one knows like outside from Brazil is that Curitiba is a big city, but it has a lot of green areas. I mean, we have a lot of parks here, a lot. And that's why we are known as the Green City and the ecological capital of Brazil. We are also called the city of eternal fog because there's a lot of fog here, especially during winter, so... A lot of nicknames. What is an actual stereotype for your country? An actual stereotype from Brazil, I think, is that people are very friendly and very touchy with each other. I know this is not very common abroad, but and here when we greet our friends and family, it's always like with a kiss on the cheek, or with a hug, you know, the human contact is always needed in times like that. It's not just a handshake, it's like way more than that. So yeah, Brazil is very friendly. What is your country state famous for? Well, Brazil is famous for football. Brazil has won more World Cups than any other country with a total of five so far. It's also the only country that actually participated in every tournament so far. But Paraná, that is my state, is also famous for the Iguazu Falls. It's true that only half of the falls are part of the state, but they're located in Falls de Iguazu, a city that borders with Argentina. And the Iguazu Falls are also one of the new seven wonders of nature. What is one thing you could change if you could? I would definitely lower the violence, you know, and make a safer place to live. Because if you're walking down the street with your phone in your hands, there's a big chance you won't come back with your phone. And, and it sucks. I am lucky that I was never mugged, but we see in the news every day of people that got mugged and sometimes injured and killed because they tried to defend themselves. So it, it sucks that we have this kind of violence around here, so I would change that. What is the thing you love most about your state or country? I love my city. Like seriously, everything you need is here. I love the people, the places, the jokes the city has. It's beautiful. And even though a lot of people complain about the public transportation, I really like because I've seen other states are very worse than we have here. And here we don't have subways, but we do have buses that take you anywhere in the city. Like, everywhere you want to go, there's a bus that takes you there, and I love that about it. And for the final question, what is one thing you love about the other persons in the SAG country or channel? I've never been to Sao Paulo, so I can't actually say much about that, so I'm gonna talk about Jackie's channel. Uh, I love her channel, she makes amazing videos, the name is Pink Empowerment, and seriously, she does one thing that I think is very different from everything I have seen on YouTube before. She uploads videos in Portuguese and English, so I can imagine how much work she put on those videos, and that's something I really love about her channel. Uh, her video will be up tomorrow, so all the links will be down in the description box below, don't forget to check that out. And also if you want to check all the other videos in the 100 days challenge, I have a playlist in my channel, the link will be down in the description box below, so then you can watch all the other videos, there's like 60 plus before me, so go check it out. But that's it for the tag! And if you also want to be a part of this huge project, you can't, all you have to do is upload or a video on YouTube or a picture on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you like, with the hashtag 100 days challenge, hashtag the day you were closer. Like if you live near Curitiba or like South Brazil, you use the hashtag day 61 because that's my day. But whatever you are, there's a day that is close to where you live. Go find which day is it and then upload your picture or your video. We all would like to see it. Also, I want to say a huge thanks to Joe and Dan for creating this tag. I'm very proud and honored to be a part of this challenge, so thank you guys. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment, share, whatever you prefer, and I will see you again next week. Bye, guys!